Good morning, y'all. This is another edition of uh, Foreign Vibe um, Daily Videos. You know what I'm saying? So, right now I'm in this area called Miramar, or Miramar, should I say in English. Um, Miramar is one of the spots in La Habana where you see there's a lot of uh, five-star hotels. Um, basically, I'm gonna walk right through here and show you guys the five-star hotels. Unfortunately, I won't be able to uh, go inside and record so you can have an idea what the inside looked like because that's not allowed because I tried that last year. I came here. Um, but I'm just gonna do a quick tour of the streets, the whole strip of Miramar. This is this building here that you're looking at is uh, Miramar Center. We're gonna take a look inside of it too. Uh, but first, we're gonna take a whole stroll down the streets here in La Quinta. I think over here is La Quinta. I might be wrong. Maybe La La Tercera, but um, all right. Let's start with this hotel here. And some of these hotels are super huge. You know what I'm saying they are huge. I've been inside this one. Um, is, oh, is it this one that I went inside? Yeah, I think it's this one because I, I went there to watch. Uh, a soccer game back in 2018 when I was here but I wasn't doing YouTube at the time so I didn't get a chance to document these areas for you guys but uh, I just want to show you different sides from the touristic area to over here which is uh, I might imagine is also touristic um, but it, those are like five-star hotels that um, I think the average price here is probably like, uh, it depends on what time of the year, but when I looked online, it was like from 100 to 200 and something. So, imagine. This one here is called, um, I think it's called Melia Havana. Melia Havana. Um, I went inside and basically what well, I could go inside and um and ask for the nightly rate. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna be able to record while I'm doing that. So um But I'm gonna try it anyways. Let's let's see what's what happened. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, so bear with me a little bit. I'm not going to talk much until I get to one person and, and they tell me um, how much it is. That area there, that's where you have cocktails, drinks, Watch the games. It's called Sports Bar Titanium. It's closed right now because it's mad early. Let's go see. Right. You see how huge it is? It's huge. Let me ask you. Disculpa, la, la recepción esta? Arriba. Arriba, eh. En el lobby. En el... ¿Qué piso es? Venga. Me indico ahora. Ah. El rento por todo el pasillo. Sí. Cuando llegue al final va a haber unas escaleras hacia arriba. Ahí está el lobby. ¿Una escalera? Sí, arriba. Ahí al final. Pero... ¿En el segundo piso o tercer piso? Primer piso. Primer piso. Ah, primer piso. Gracias. All right, now my uh, 
My LCD screen is not on, so they can't tell. Uh, he told me to go on the, uh, past the hallway and hop on the uh, stair staircase, but they should have an elevator. <laughs> Last time I came, they even have a gym in here. Big ass gym. He not you. What else? La escalera? Si. Pero la camarita de guardarla. Ah, ok. What is it? Ah, vale. Ah, vale. Por acá es la salida. Gracias. No, está bien, gracias. I just came from inside, they didn't want me to record, so I didn't actually get a, a good glimpse of uh, the inside for you guys. So, but I was, um, I tried to turn on the camera so I could show you guys the prices, the rates. It's pretty expensive, like 76,000, um, 76,000 Cuban peso. And when I did the calculation on my phone, I came out to like 262 dollars a night, and that's like, that's just, and that's like on the, uh, that's like the se the low season, and I saw other prices like. 91,000 pesos, Cuban pesos, which which I don't know what the conversion is, but I know it's, too, it's much more than $262 a night. So, I don't know if it's worth it coming to Cuba um, to, um, let me show you another look at it again. It's, it's called Havana Melia or Melia Havana. All right, we're gonna keep walking on this um, street so I can show you, uh, I think it's like two or three more on this side. And then after that, we're gonna go into the Miramar Center. I've been in there before. Last time I've been there was maybe 2018 or 2017. I don't know, I can't recall. And we in 2024, so you do the math. That's like six, seven years. Um, all right, this next one we're coming uh, towards. Is what's the name of this one? Can't see the name. And this hotel is uh, huge. Oh, it's called Gran Caribe. Grupo Hotelero. This is called Gran Caribe. I don't know if you can see the name right there, Gran Caribe, and this is what it looks like. And there's one right next to it.
I, I'm not trying to get myself in trouble, so I'm not gonna go. Actually, that's not the name of it. This is the actual name on the side. Uh, it's called. What? What is that? Neptuno. Hotel Neptuno. El nombre de los hoteles acá. Ah, de, de este hotel. Hotel Neptuno. I thought the sign in front of it was the was the name, but there's one right next to it. Let's see what the name of this one is called. Oh, it could be the same one. Ah, uh, could be the same one. Please let me know if you guys have been inside these hotels here. Um, and comment down below if if it's worth it because you know they're not gonna let me record at least for me to see the lobby and, and what it looks like on the inside so that's why i'm not even gonna bother going in all right this one is called what is that Tuton? I don't know how to say that, but it's Tuton Hotel. It looks like it's uh, it's from the same uh, group. It's called Gran Caribe Grupo Hotelero. Um, but this is what it is. It seems like they're doing renovation. This one seems, this, this building seems, seems pretty uh, uh, old. They need to be renovated. This one right here is more, uh, it's called, uh, what is it? Panorama, Panorama Hotel. It seems to be more updated or, or modern, the way it looks. The first one we went to uh, was nice too, as far as the outside look of it. And on the inside, it was pretty, pretty good. You guys can see when I'm walking to the lobby. Basically, this is a, a brief uh, tour, street tour, should I say, of the five-star hotels here in La Habana. There's, there's more, actually, but, um, you know, this is Cuba. If it was in, in any other country, I probably would have been able to go inside, talk to the receptionist. Um, to show you guys the inside and even ask for a tour, but I don't think they are uh, gonna allow me to do that. So this one is called Panorama. Uh, I think either this one or Melia Havana, there's uh, actually another one and um, maybe Camagüey. Camagüey or Santiago? Maybe Santiago. Yeah. So those of you who are thinking about coming for vacation to Cuba, these are the hotels, five-star hotels here in Miramar. I'm not talking about Miramar, Florida or Miramar, South Florida. This is Miramar, um, uh, Cuba, Havana, Cuba, Havana, Cuba. All right. Now, if I'm able to get more footage from inside the hotels, uh, I'll be more than gladly to provide that to you pretty soon, all right? So for now, we're gonna move on to the next thing, Miramar Center. inside the Miramar Center. I'm gonna give you a quick uh, tour of uh, not the whole place, but 
just uh, the places that I'm familiar with when I've been here before in 2017, 2018. So let's go. Straight walk through. Here they have all type of, they do all type of things, businesses, uh, airlines, uh, uh, telephone company like Nauta, Telepunto, as you could clearly see. And what I like about here always is this elephants. Um, to me, that, that just um, <laughs> identified, um, that's how I can identify this building with the elephants. Uh, mind you, they have like, I think, Three to four buildings as far as Miramar Center, right here. I don't know why it's, it's very few people out here. Cause usually, this place is usually packed. It's a, it's a Wednesday. So, I don't know why it's usually so, why it's like so empty today. Um, the, the last few times I came here, but I've always come here like midday. Like, this is American Airlines. Let me see the schedule. Lunes a viernes. I guess this is their American Airlines uh, office here in. Um, they even have Cuba Tour. And this is another uh, big hotel that, that looks like a five-star hotel to me, but every time I pass in front of it, it usually looks empty. But I don't know. Another look at it. We are Mars Center. Uh, I forgot the name of the street. Let me go ask this dude. Ah, this is La Quinta. Oh, over here is La Quinta. La Quinta y 76. 76. Okay. That's what it is. La Quinta 76. If I go further uh, down, walking that way to La 70, from there I could go to La 19, which is Playa. Over here is Miramar, the Playa is still the same area, but to be more precise over there is, I'm gonna go there now actually. So I, I'll catch you guys there. All right, now we're done uh, doing the short exploring of this area. We are about to... Uh, we're about to go to La 19, Playa. So, uh, so I can show you um, where, I used to, where I used to hang out when I first started coming out here in Cuba in 2017, 2018. So, we're gonna hop on one of these uh, yellow, this, this is called moto taxi. So, uh, I've never uh, been on the moto taxi from over here. I don't know where to catch them to get to DSC Nueva, but I'm gonna ask the drivers and so I can have an idea. Ah, 
Sí. Aquí no hay. No, ya ha dado última porque no. No se puede poner. Un carro para el 19. Un carro para el 19. Para la avenida 19. Puedes pasar aquí. Y te queda a la izquierda. Pero le dijeron que no hay. Tiene que marcar aquí en la Ah, okay. Gracias. Yo, I thought, I don't know. I'm trying to find out if there's a... Uh, último en 12. ¿Quién es el último? Último en 12. Yo. ¿Detrás quién va? Ahora ya ni me acuerdo quién me dio. I thought I was the last but... Anyway, let's see. Let's see where I can go from here. Just got off. Just got off the bus. I know some of you is probably saying, why is this guy catching the bus? Yo, when you exploring, man, you got to... Be yeah, able to um, know how to maneuver your way around the city, the town. So, which is why I prefer using public transportation during the day. I emphasize, I put an emphasis on during the day. So this is what I got on to get from Miramar uh, Center to come out here. And this is uh, the area where I'm mostly uh, um, familiar with. So I'm just gonna do a, a quick walking tour um, of the places that I'm, I know, or the places that I've been to. And we're gonna end up at, at a park. This is pretty much the park that um, People used to use back in 2017, 2018. It used to be crowded with people, especially uh, in the late afternoon. People would go there to use the internet. Now that I think around 2018, 2019, when I stopped coming out here, they made it possible for people to have uh, internet on their phone. Because when I used to come out here, the very first four or five times, you didn't have that option. You only had a cell phone with with messages and um, text. You couldn't, it, they didn't have the, uh, the feature of having data or internet on your phone. So everybody had to always go to a park or, um, or, uh, or near a hotel to, to log in through the Wi-Fi and you had you needed uh, to to purchase a card that would give you access to the internet. Anyways, we just came from Miramar uh, Center, and I showed you the hotels there. And right now we in La Diecinueve, we in Playa. Estamos en Playa. And if I go towards that way. I'll go towards where I'm staying at, which is Vedado. But towards this way, it's more like Playa. And then if you go further down that way, it's going to be called, uh, there's a, a neighborhood called Romerio. That, that neighborhood is pretty tough. Pretty tough. So basically, I'm, I'm just going around uh the places that i knew from 2017 to 2018 to give you a quick a quick tour normally it's not i didn't want to do this around this time of the day because it's pretty hot very hot so there's a place i used to buy food i think this is it right here um but we're just going to take a walk to get to that. Actually, let me see if they got um, water, how much the water costs. I'll be right, I'll be right back with you guys.
It's too hot, man. I had to purchase this that looks like a soda or Coca-Cola. Um, I was gonna buy water, but even though I got two small bottles of water with me, but they, they like. very icy so I had to make sure uh, I get something that I could uh, sip on while I'm walking the streets in this midday afternoon you see it says calle 72 19 which means I'm on the right path. I still remember my way after not being here for so long, since 2018. Anyways, we're gonna turn into this neighborhood and um, We're gonna turn into this neighborhood so we could go into uh, the park, the Wi-Fi park where people used to go at all the time to use the internet. But since uh, um, Since now people get to use uh, the internet on their phone at that particular park, uh, late afternoon to nighttime, you're not gonna see a whole lot of people there anymore because now people have the, the freedom to have, uh, not the freedom, but you understand what I'm saying? Actually, if I go down this way, we're gonna run into the park. But I think it's better I, um, I go around by the, I think it's like a gas station. So we could do the whole tour and we're gonna end up being at the park. There all the time. <laughs> These guys are waving their hands because they see a camera. This is the gas station I was talking about. Um, once again, we are in Playa. Estamos en Playa con los cubanos. Los cubanos de Cuba, en La Habana. So, this is a gas station and this is the neighborhood we're gonna walk into. And this is stuff I used to do all the time. Like walking around here and but I, us I usually do it that like early morning, like 9, 10. So right now it's probably like uh, it's probably like what, what time is it? Let me see. Oh shit! I almost dropped my ID. It's 12:19. I dropped my ID. I gotta pick it up. We can't afford to lose that. All right, so it's not a lot of people in the streets, as you can see, because everybody's inside or at work. On top of that, I don't think people like to be out here. It's mad. It's mad hot. It's real hot.
There you go. I just gave you guys a quick. I thought I was gonna end up turning right here. I ended up turning, um, coming out here, right at the park. That wasn't part of the plan, but yeah, this is the park I was referring to. Um, this is, I think this is La 72 or 73 y 13, something like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Yeah. First time I came, me and my friends and I, we we had a Airbnb spot over there. Um, so we used to go to this park all the time to uh, to use the internet with this card. Actually, I have the card on me. Let me see if I could uh, pull it out. Uh, it's the Nauta card that you. Uh, I just bought like three of them. Hopefully, uh, this is the card I'm referring to, this card. Um, see right here, you scratch it and then you log into the Wi-Fi and then you put this code in. So this is pretty much how it worked back then. Uh, you still, you still um, can use those, but for me, the only reason why I bought them is I'm trying to get Wi-Fi. I have internet on my phone, but I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to um, edit and upload while I'm in Cuba. So I went to the spot uh, in uh, Mir Miramar Center, where it's kind of like a cafe where you get to use the computer, um, but you have to have a, an account. So I guess for foreigners, you can't have account only for Cubans, but the, the best option for uh, the car that I just showed you, you could buy one for five hours, which is about 125 pesos, or one for an hour for 25 pesos, which is how it works. So this is a quick walk through the park. Normally around this time, it's usually a lot of people. And um, like I said, because of um, because of uh, the ability to use um, the phone on your internet now, a lot less people come to the park to use the internet. So they don't have the necessity for it anymore. is a classic. Walk through the park. What I like about this park is a lot of cool shades. Wow. This is crazy, my friend. So all these places here, there's benches. People used to sit over here, all over here, all the way to the back. I even have pictures of me being in this park. But that's another story. Otra historia. ¿Qué te parece ese barrio, ese reparto de, de playa? What do you think of this uh, neighborhood, this area? Uh, do you like it? Does it remind you of any other places that you've been to? Let me know down in the comments.